Okay, so uh, we've done the range test and the bike shut down with uh, 47.6 uh, kilometers on the trip meter or 29.7 miles. It shut down at about 45 volts or under power it was uh, probably around 43. I didn't actually get to see it because uh, a quad drove by just at the wrong time, right as it went dead on me. So I'm pretty sure that's close so so it shuts down around 43. That's what that's the trigger point to shut it down. Under power. So now I'm gonna turn it back on. It's been sitting a couple hours. We'll see what the voltage is at after it sat. And this is after this it's shut down twice. So it's at 44.6. This is after sitting 44.7. I'm going to, right now, I'm going to update this cable right here. This is the cable that goes into the, uh, into the mount right there. And uh, I have to pull the battery off, so I'm going to pause the video, and then I'll start charging the battery from 44.7, which is the point where it, the resting voltage after, after sh the second shutdown. So it was probably around 45 volts exactly when it shut down the first time and under power 43 that's a safe uh i'd call that pretty safe range to, to call it so i'm gonna pause the video pull the battery off i'm gonna put it on the uh, kilowatt meter i'm gonna zero that out and we'll see how many watts it takes to fill it up and then i'll calculate that to amp hours and uh, we'll know the watt hours this has usable this battery and the amount of amp hours it has usable amp hours and usable watt hours I'll be right back after I pull the battery off okay so the battery's off I'm gonna zero out I'm gonna zero out this uh, kilowatt meter see hit the reset button so we got zero kilowatts and we got a hundred and 21 volts, it said there, 124 volts, 60 hertz, no amps, no watts. So I'll plug it in here. We'll see how much it takes to, uh, how much it takes to charge this thing. From, uh, from the shutdown voltage on a Bafang BBS HD. 1000 watt So the shutdown is 43 watts factory settings. I haven't I haven't messed with any of the settings since I bought this so all the settings are uh, factory for the 52 volt setting on the uh, 500c display So I'll put this on uh, kilowatt hours, so now I'm going to uh, update I'm going to update this uh, this mount, this the wiring that goes into this mount right here is only 12 gauge or, or 14 gauge. I'm gonna upgrade it to 8 gauge, but the rest of the bike, so everything else other than this wire here, goes inside, goes inside right here into this mount. I gotta take this cover off. There's three screws right there. I gotta take those off, and then uh, I have to. Uh, Undo the wire from th these two posts here. That's positive side. That's the negative side. I've got to uh, heat them up and pull the wires off, and then put the bigger wire on there. And it should uh, the mount will be good for over 30 amps. Anyways, the rest of the system is going to be 12 gauge wire. That's what that's what comes factory with the Bafang motor. So that'll be another video I'll do. I'll separate the two videos. The video before this one will be for the total watt hours and total amp hours usable. I'll do a separate video for this uh, wiring update on the Halong battery mount. The cheap, Am cheap Amazon battery. Try to make it a little better. 
So that's uh, that's it for now. Okay, so the uh, battery's charged now. It's uh, been on the uh, charger for 10, 10 and a half hours. And on uh, that's what it's taken, 616 watts or 0.616 kilowatts. Now, it uses 2 watts on standby, so I figure it's been on standby for probably 5 hours. So it's taken on 2 watts or so, or maybe or 10 watts, maybe 11 or 12. But uh, So what I'll do is I'll minus off 12 watts or 11 watts to, to figure out the actual amount that went into the battery before it went on standby. So it would be about 605. I'll go with 605. So 605 and then I'll minus off the charger inefficiencies. So 605 and we'll minus off 60 watts for charger inefficiency. So 545. Five forty five. So it's a five hundred and forty five watt usable capacity from uh from right full till it shuts down. That's what uh that's what you got. So and then uh divide that by fifty two. Oops, I'll just go erase that. 545 so we got a 10 amp 10 and a half amp hour usable capacity that's what it works out to so we can use 10 and a half amps for an hour at 52 volts so it's uh really this 20 amp hour battery on this application anyways on this e bike it actually has 10 and a half amps so it's a 52 volt 10 and a half amp battery usable so i would guess that any battery like they always overrated a little bit so might even be like a 13 amp hour but we for sure this is what i can use i can use 10 and a half amps at 52 volts for one hour with this battery and uh, yeah I guess the next video will be updating the wiring on the uh, the mount for this uh, hey long 52 amp hour 20 or 52 volt 20 amp hour battery so that's uh that's the end of the range test and capacity testing Bye for now.